feel like Les Shroud right now. Survivor man. In the wild. Except for he has to eat like scorpions and grasshoppers and shit. Black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, y'all should know by now that I love myself a good tuna sandwich on some crunchy toasted bread. And I do love myself some white albacore tuna. Gotta be the solid white. That's what I'm into. So we're going to make some of that today because I'm craving it. And uh, we have to prep some veg. So a little prep and bowl. There you go. And I go with these three ingredients. First things first is a nice... Clausen pickle, beautiful pickle, my favorite. And I like to make sure everything is small and uniform in size in my tuna blend. I don't like things too chunky per se. So we do a fine-ish dice. And you go ahead and get creative. You get your big spatula, you put it all onto the big spatula, the big beef smashing spatula and into your prep bowl of course next up onion coming in hot red onion right here boom and we give it some nice close slices so we get a fine mince on it yeah keep it tight and then all you gotta do you don't have to do the whole Go inside that makes no sense because that's already separate and then nice small red onion so that goes on to the spatula as well into the mix and then celery i love celery in my tuna i don't know about you but it's just got this nice the crunch factor basically of it is what i love but I like it really fine as well, so I'm going to take these already fine strips and make them even more fine looking. Let me stack them up and give them a little chopsky. And one more time, on to the spatula, smasher, burger patty thing and into our mix, so that's veggies done. Okay, so I'm going in with two cans of tuna. I like mine super drained. Some people tend to leave some water in theirs and like it a bit wet. That to me feels a little strange if I'm honest, but uh, you do you, whatever you like. I personally like it more like dry. Do like a quick little, little breakdown with a fork is what I like to get up to with mine. Okay, once that's broken down, obviously we're gonna go in with our veg prep here. Spin that around. Here's where I get pretty crazy. I like quite a bit of mayo. So, I don't know, you do it to your liking, but for me, it's definitely like a bunch of tablespoons. I don't even know the amount, but we'll see if this is enough to, to start with. Okay, here's my little twist. You might think it weird, but a bit of horseradish get our little extendo spoon <laughs> get deep into the horseradish put a nice little dollop of horseradish in there makes things real bright and delicious if you never tried it give it a try and of course we need a pinch of salt in here so yeah that was a perfect amount of mayo for me i'd say nicely integrated not dry not super wet but just right really goldilocks zone probably like three or four tablespoons and then from here just give it a quick one quick test just to see if your salt is right mm -hmm. absolutely perfect delicious in the fridge to sit for a while you gotta let Tuna salad, chicken salad, egg salad. You gotta let it live with each other for a little while before you eat. Okay, kids. We're going camping. Let's roll. Okay, not exactly camping. I lied a little. I told you a little Fibonacci there. But we are going out to an undisclosed location in a wooded area for a multitude of reasons. Now, what those reasons are is 
uh, this past week I made like two songs and I just want to release them and I need video products for them so I'm going to somewhere where it's private-ish private uh, to to do that to make some uh, you know video content that can go along with the music and so I can release them so that first song is this look at the cases of cults that cultivated a certain kind of culture resulting in altercation false with their statements they're giving us ultimatums the pulse of a nation dictated by people with multiple faces repulsive ain't it it's bullshit we need to revolt to overthrow yo we've seen this before and history repeats itself no misery just peace and health this isn't me i've been in hell i'm physically a demon now and this song is snippets of the two songs I'm going to make the videos and release them one by one obviously in the near future here but I figured on the way and the whole process since it is a nice day and whatever and I'm just living my life I figure I'm also gonna bring you guys out on a little we're gonna have I brought I brought a picnic okay I'm just I brought I brought a picnic so I packed up a little bag of the tuna that I made that you'll see in this video uh, at the start of this video and so I packed it up I brought a couple little other snickety snacks and then I'm just gonna have like, uh, a little picnic video with this tuna that I made and these really awesome like onion buns and crackers and cheese maybe have a chat maybe shoot some scenery for this video so anyways this is like a multitude of video days a bit of a vlog type thing the other thing that I'm gonna do in these videos or in today but these will be separate videos is i've been thinking lately uh about like to just make some different more informative dialogue sort of content the whole thing of like making music and songs for me is mostly all the lyrics have a deeper explanation or meaning behind them you know what i mean and then so you know that there's like that shit called genius where people sit down and uh, they kind of explain what where their head was at while they were making their songs. That's what I want to do with my music. So I have enough songs to like sit down, do lyric breakdowns. And there's always like, because I feel like, yes, on this channel, over time, everybody said you're a very good storyteller. And I also would agree with, I think I am proficient in storytelling. Um, that like for all of my songs, there's always, even the, 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 the lyrical, like depth to it the dialogue behind that there's always a story attached to each time i was making it like i was at this person's house or like like a time in my life because some of my songs are from like farther back and more recent so there's always even like a like a i don't know what you want to call it like a, a fractal different story behind even just the lyrics so there's like, there's even more kind of depth to it so i kind of just want to sit down and almost like play some lyrics, break them down, tell you about how I came to be in that place, what that means, and then inch my way through, through the song and then so you can get a great understanding and it's just more kind of more interesting, almost podcast-like content in a sense, but more, but also a song breakdown, which one might say that artists or mu music people would argue with like, there is something to be, like some people don't like for you to know exactly where they were at. They like to keep the mystique of their creation because they want their song to be openly interpreted by the listener, which is, I understand that, because then it's more like, um, it could feel more uh, like unique to the person listening to it because they connect with it in such a specific way for themselves because for the way that they interpret it. But I don't know, I like the idea of explaining everything about where my head was at with 
writing the songs and what the lyrics mean to me at least because even though you would know what they mean to me in depth doesn't mean that you can't still have what they mean to you right if you've listened to them and, and you've they've felt any sort of way for you and so you know what i mean because i know that like definitely some thousands of people have listened to my songs like the numbers are right there on the internet so at least i would imagine there's got to be like a handful of people who have like connected or resonated or even play these songs or have them on a playlist or on their phone or whatever they might listen to them from time to time so yeah i i, I just want to like be just make some more kind of different videos like that and just i don't know be more of an open book even though i'm a pretty open book already as it is but um yeah that's uh that's what i'm gonna do out here today so i'm gonna bang out like uh it's probably like two song breakdown videos that'll be separate videos and then also we're gonna have a picnic as well maybe shoot a little scenery and then i'm gonna shoot these two music videos to release those songs so onward to the, the destination of life of life and uh <laughs> I don't know what will be next in this video sequence, but I'm sure something that will hopefully keep you intrigued. Okay. Okay, we've arrived. We're officially in the bush now, and uh, I've been messing about for a while, filming myself being a real weirdo. Feels kind of jokes, but uh, like I said, put this side. Brought my pack. Got some snacks in here. We got our, our dinner date, our lunch date, whatever you want to call it. It is evening time. Don't mind those, those are for props. Don't worry about those. These were props too, but also I do lately love this Starbucks iced coffee. I switched out, I haven't given up my uh, sugar-free Red Bull habit. And then I scored this, which is sick, the uh, sugar-free vanilla Starbucks syrup. So I just make like what would cost you $6 uh, like at, at Starbucks. <laughs> I can make daily like four different coffees for like literally a, a dollar. So put you on game for that. Anyways, that's my new caffeine kick for life. But let's get our sack here and get to ta the table and have our little picnic meeting. Please come with me, join me. Check this swag bag out I got last year at Canadian Tire. It was originally something like 80 bucks and it's on for, it was on for a hot 30 now. Where I'm at, everything's like put away all the tables and stuff just outside of my dad's garage is this table. And <laughs> here's my stool that I'm gonna eat with, uh, eat on with you guys. But that's the fire pit in the uh, summer season. Gather chairs around there and hit up some schmores and some spidey weenies and whatnot. But uh, let's get to this meal. All right, picnic time. Shades off at the dinner table. It wouldn't be nice to chill with your guest, especially where it isn't sunny and, you know, neglect the eye contact. So, eyes are here for you. Got my iced coffee cup that's kind of a bit stained from the coffee and I don't have any water to rinse it out unless I want to use lake water, but that's probably not advised. So, we will pour something into that, but uh, crack into our little picnic bag here, like Yogi himself. Already tuna and onions <laughs> just permeate in the air. Hopefully I don't attract any bears. I do see actually around the property here, I see uh, deer prints. So maybe I'll have a, a deer come hang out, which would be chill. That's cool with me. They're like a dog, like a golden retriever of the woods, I kind of would say. But uh, <laughs> let's go. DP, of course, accidentally got caffeine free whatever not the biggest deal got a couple <laughs> throwing it back to grade uh four got a couple of cheese strings the cheddars of course and we also have one spoon that we're gonna need for the tuna we also have my coffee spoon <laughs> but that uh it's actually a cocktail spoon for bartenders got it living in in uh t dot what up <laughs> Can I go one video not saying anything about Toronto? <laughs> Fuck my whole life. Okay, we got the tuna here in the in the Pyrex, whipping the pot. And then we got these cheese 
rice crackers. Already had some the other day. Had one row. They're actually good for low carb. So we got the cheese rice crackers. Pull those out, maybe. Cleanliness, and the cleanliness is next to godliness. So cheese, that, and then the main event, what I'm most excited for is these, they're gonna have these tuna sandwiches. I brought a little bit of lettuce and some uh, pickled peppers. But these are what's fire. And speaking of fire, I wish I had a fire or something to toast these on. They would, if, this would be better if I did, but I don't. Maybe, I don't know, should I pre-toast it? Is that a thing? Can you pre-toast? I don't know. Either way, this shit is going to be flavor central. Like with, with the tuna having been, it's been marinating for 24 hours. So she's marinating good. And all the things in the tuna already are amazing. And then these, these buns are a flavor explosion. Everything buns just go dummy hard i guarantee you but we also have a fresh stack of cubes <laughs> yeah you know the ice man got you so okay let's let's pull up in the outdoor area nature hits different bro especially when you're alone in nature like it's like on one hand you're really peaceful and like you can just be as ridiculous as you want because there's so much like privacy to your life but i also feel like i'm about to be eaten or murdered by something or someone so it's a catch-22 you know anywho time to pour pepsi on deck and i love this uh glass unit because you can just free pour and basically never run the risk of dante's peak almost we almost dante but not really free pour no dante and we're golden okay let's get to the business a sip oh my god i've been jones in that because i've been dancing around and acting a fool okay let's see are these pre yeah i, th I knew they were pre slices otherwise i was gonna be like i'm screwed i don't have a knife so this might even go a little sketch bag but nope we're good came apart real nice so this is the big idea right now this tuna give you try and get you up close on this how 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 it's going that's how it's going. And then we're going to pop her on. And you guys, I'm such a fucking tuna whore. Like when you make a good one and it sits for a day or two and just sets up all the flavors like married together. It's one of my favorite things in life, I swear to God. Okay, then I brought, of course, you can, you know, iceberg all day for your guy, for your guy. But boom, the extra crispy, near near to the core. Gangsta to the core, <laughs> at Lil Wayne. And then the banana, banana peps, Dude, if you never, if you don't put banana peps in with your tuna, you're missing out, bro. Okay, lettuce crunch factor in. Perfect bun size. Lid on. Press. And present to you your your picnic tuna sandwich with me. Cheers, thanks for being here. Don't come apart on me now. You'll be good. Oh man. Why is food so good? That's the best thing of life. That's the best part of life. Has to be. Oh man. 
the pickle celery. Horseradish kick. Perfect amount of mayo. Crunch of the lettuce is just crucial. Mm. Bless. And you get the cut of uh, the peppers from pickling juice. And then all those crazy flavors on this bread. Now Subway ain't got shit on this. As anticipated, however, a toast on this guy. Would have been God tier. This bun too. Dangerous. If you work in like an office or real society, or maybe you're going to school, you have one of these and you don't hit the bathroom to check your grill. And then you go back and talk to your coworkers and all of this is wedged in your teeth. Embarrassing. So if you're inexperienced with these type of buns, make sure you go get a full mouth, like rinse and spit. Before you go talk to somebody that you might be attracted to. Do you know what I mean? I think you do. I used to have a friend where well, after I'd be eating and I'd have like a pop, I'd always take my last swig of pop and like do a hard, a hard swish in my mouth of everything to clean everything out. My one, my one friend back in high school would always be like, man, you can't brush your teeth with pop. <laughs> and he's so right. I can tell there's just so much shit in my teeth right now, but he was so right. He's like, you can't brush your teeth with pop. <laughs> How you can't, you can't expect that to, to be kosher. Brushing your teeth with pop. I wasn't trying to brush my teeth, but he, he equated it to that, which was fucking hilarious. Okay, grade four or what? Come on. Cheese string on an already cheese cracker what is this life oh man that's good you know this one has extreme extreme string look I always play the game of how thin We've gone over this before in a previous video, but you always got to play the game of how thin. At least a little bit until you get tired of it. And then you just kind of go for it. These crackers are a bit of a trip. They're like... Um, They have a crazy taste to them, like a, like a toasted or, I don't know, it's a, it's a crazy taste, but they have good ass crunch. 
good low carb option and they're cheap as well Okay, so for this one, I think I'm just gonna do a half open face because the last one was, like I said, the toast issue, like it was quite bready. I feel like I just want a little better of a ratio of ingredients to bread. So we're gonna open face this one. And the other thing is, is like, don't be fooled, it might, it might look kind of nice, but like the weather here, but truth be told it's kind of it's a little chilly out like it's definitely like it feels like a fall day kind of like not exactly springish so uh so the buns are stiff because of the due to the weather they're very like they're very uh, like dense feeling and cold kind of but i think i'm gonna rock this one just like that and she'll be delish Mm -hmm. I feel like less shroud right now. Survivor man. In the wild. Except for he has to eat like scorpions and grasshoppers and shit. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but I watch a lot of Survivor Man, or I used to. I recently I went on a kick. And when he eats those, those undesirable things, he like weirdly makes me like crave bugs or something. <laughs> Just the way that he eats like makes whatever he is sound delicious. Even though it's definitely not. If you've seen the show and you've been affected like that, let me know down below. I don't want to be the only one. Craving bugs. But yeah. Them songs that I'll be releasing... This is me graciously asking for your support on them. Please, please watch them, click in, and like, comment, subscribe, share. All the things that can help would be appreciated when I do release them. And try not to cringe too hard, <laughs> hard at my video uh, product. They're shooting yourself. I'm like, I don't know. It's hard to get video of yourself to put to music that isn't, that doesn't feel like weird or fake or something like that. It's hard to explain. Or it looks awkward or disingenuous on camera. Cause like your facial expressions and your body expressions and stuff have to like match the music. So you have to like hit a pocket and be like right in a specific, like, like a certain vibe. Like your face has to be like soft or like more expressive or, or like emotionless. And like, I don't know, just your movements and stuff have to be fitting with the song. So some stuff like you'll watch back and be like, well, well that doesn't work at all. That seems super weird in relation to the vibe. But yeah, mm, that was delish. Wish I had a toaster, but what can you do? All right, I'm gonna pack this one up here. And um, I'm now going to either wait and get a time lapse of the sunset or I might head just back into town because I don't, it might not set for another like whole hour and a bit and I'm just getting extremely antsy. 
to just get back home and stuff. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll see. Leaning towards just saying screw it and getting some stock footage of a sunset. <laughs> Can always just do that. Okay, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Don't brush your teeth, pop. But do clean it out after everything, bagels and such. Uh, and then also stay true. Is all in my head. Is all in my head.